experts in California to tell you about. The language of Punjabi, along with five other languages, were available on ballots yesterday. They were really happy that they can do it themselves. They don't have to worry about anybody else. And tonight, a presentation to the Live Oak City Council, which made a push for the Punjabi language to be recognized. New tonight, CBS 13's Drew Balea is live in our newsroom with why this was such an important moment for the community in Sutter County. Drew. Oh, Curtis and Christina, there are more people from Punjab in Sutter County than anywhere else in the world, with the exception of Punjab itself. And until now, ballots in the county were only available in English and Spanish, which is why being able to vote in the native Punjabi was such an important step towards equality for many. Situated in the middle of thousands of acres of farmland is Live Oak. Farming gets it's in our blood, so they actually think that's a huge benefit for them. The agriculture, similar to the Hindu Kush region of India, is what draws people from Punjab here. We call it a mini Punjab. Jaskar and Diol came to Live Oak as a baby. He says since becoming citizens, his family has had difficulties with the voting process. They had always felt a disadvantage. They didn't know English, right? Many times relying on someone else's interpretation of the ballot. You know, they, they became citizens. They want to be part of the society. But when it comes to voting, they don't have a clue. That is until now. According to California's election law, if 3% of a population in a certain area speaks a particular language, a ballot must be provided in that language. Here in Live Oak, 15% of the population speaks Punjabi. We want everyone to participate in our system. That's what makes the American system of government so great. Live Oak council members and Sutter County officials made a push for Punjabi, the city even receiving a county recognition for their efforts. I think it allows them to understand directly what they're voting for. A ballot in their native language. They were really happy that they can do it themselves. They don't have to worry about anybody else. Providing freedom for Deal's parents and grandparents to vote on their own. This is one of their many steps in progressing and in including everybody that lives here. Now, there were other languages that were made available for the first time on the ballot this year, including Hmong, Syriac, Armenian, Persian, and Arabic. All right, Drew, thank you. And this story had us wondering how many voting languages are there in California. Well, according to the Secretary of State's office, it depends on the county. Sacramento, for example, offers Chinese, Spanish, Korean, Vietnamese, and the Filipino language of Tagalog. Hmong and Punjabi are new to Sacramento this year.